Hey everyone, I'm Cardinal Culver, and I'm here at Washington Grizzly Stadium for homecoming, as the Grizz are hosting the Idaho State Bengals for their second Big Sky Conference game of the season. Let's see how it went. Energy was through the roof heading into this one for the Grizz, and it was the Grizz who struck first, as Clifton McDowell took this one in from eight yards out, waltzing his way past the Bengals' defense into the end zone on their opening drive to put the Grizz on top 7-0 to start the game. But Idaho State wasted little time responding, with this two-yard strike here just before the first quarter ended to tie things up at seven apiece. And the second quarter yielded no scoring, leading to a 7-7 stalemate at the half. Immediately to start the second half, Ronald Jackson Jr. notched this interception for the game's first turnover. And that set up this 39-yard catch and run from Junior Bergen down to the two-yard line, which led to this two-yard touchdown catch from Aaron Fonts, where he fooled the entire Bengals defense to put the Grizz up 14-7 at the start of the third quarter. But the Bengals responded swiftly with this beautiful 28-yard touchdown from Shaden James, his second on the day, to tie things up at 14. Then it was the Grizz who pulled one out of their bag of tricks here, as Sawyer Racanelli hit Evan Schaefer for this 15-yard touchdown towards the end of the third quarter to put the Grizz is back on top 21 to 14. Idaho State marched their way back down the field and scored this six yard touchdown here at the start of the fourth quarter, but the PAT was no good and the Grizz still led 21 to 20. Call him Eddie Grant because it's Electric Avenue. Punter Travis Benham executed this fake punt perfectly, finding Junior Bergen for a 15 yard gain to keep the Grizz's ensuing fourth quarter drive alive. And that was ultimately capped off with this three yard touchdown run from Eli Gilman, which made it 28 to 20 for the Grizz halfway through the fourth quarter. Idaho State was driving at the end of the game hoping to tie things up but it was Corbin Walker who called game with this interception with just over two minutes remaining and the Grizz went on to win 28 to 20 to improve to four and one on the year. It's kind of a fun game to be a part of. Uh, there are a lot of things going on. I thought our guys really did a great job taking some uh, change at halftime and doing a few things differently and going out and taking the win. So good by our guys. I'm proud of our team and certainly excited to, uh, to get our fourth win. Uh, well, we knew it was going to be kind of take what the defense gives us and a lot of four-yard, five-yard games just driving the ball down the field. I just felt good getting the win. In Missoula, Carter Culver, MTN Sports.